guys, welcome back to another vlog. It's currently 9.30 in the morning. It's March 23rd today. March is literally almost over. Where did it go? <laughs> Anyways, today is gonna be a fun little vlog. I have a few very fun things planned, but today is jam-packed, so it's gonna be pretty fun, but I'm just getting ready right now. I already washed my face, brushed my teeth, brushed my hair. I'm gonna just put on some light makeup. It's not even makeup. Honestly, I recently picked this up in my last vlog that you guys saw. It's the CoverGirl Easy Breezy Brow. I'm pretty sure it's in like 110 medium. I love this stuff. I had this stuff and I used it all the time, but it's literally perfect. It's not too tinted, but to start off my morning, I'm actually going to brunch with one of my friends, Callie. You guys haven't met her yet, but she's picking me up around 10.30. We're gonna go to a super cute little brunch spot. They have the best coffee ever, and I'm needing a coffee, <laughs> as always. Oh, that one was really dark. This one is darker than this one. Other than that, we're just gonna be doing all the things I basically love because honestly, like, I feel like I kind of am losing my sparkle in more of the way of just me feeling super burnt out. And I know that's normal, obviously, but I don't know. I feel like this vlog and doing all the things I love today will definitely just bring that sparkle back and let me just have the day to really do all the things I love. So that is today's vlog, but this this it's the Tarte Hamptons Weekender contour palette. I lost my highlighter brush. I left it in Costa Rica. So just ignore this brush. I know it's not the right one, but yeah. <laughs> Cute. I think we're gonna keep the hair natural today. I think that's the vibe, but I need to figure out what I'm gonna wear because I have no idea Also, it's really really gloomy outside, which is not the ideal day I want to be having but it is super like rainy and dark that kind of sucks But we're still gonna have an amazing day and we're gonna make the best out of it like we always do. So yeah is pulling up any second i swear i always am just looking like a ninja but like black is my color slay slay overall rating Kel? 8.5. I was gonna say 8.5 too. Wow. The coffee was much needed. The coffee was like the best part to be honest, but it's like a Starbucks. I know, Starbucks dupe for sure. I just got back from brunch. It was so good. It was much needed. I have nails at one and we're gonna go straight from the spa from there, I think. I think that's like the best idea because it's like right near the nail spot. So I'm gonna pack a little bag because we have to bring like swimsuits and sandals and stuff like that. So. I'm gonna pack my bag really quick and then my mom and I are gonna go get our nails done. These need to be fixed, like ASAP. <laughs> Stay. 
the manage this bone is we're gonna get changed into our bathing suits. I am gonna be filming on my phone. One thing I quickly just wanted to mention is that this spa didn't really allow me to film, so I didn't really get as much footage as I wanted to. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. There must be something that feeds her. The beauty goes much deeper Once you get to meet her You see her walking down the boulevard She got the posture of a superstar She looks so fly in those Gucci slides Yeah, yeah, I wonder where she hides Under her disguise Yeah, 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 yeah And all the girls around the world They wanna be her And all the dudes are trying To see her. I bought more books. It was an accident, I promise. Oh my gosh, you guys. I just got home. As you guys can tell, I did go book shopping. Are we surprised? Not even a little bit. Hold on. I don't know why I just always have my vest on. It's so comfortable. It's from Garage, if you guys didn't know, but I did go book shopping. I've had the most productive day ever, honestly. I really feel like more myself now, and it honestly just makes me so happy considering I've been going through it lately, mentally, physically. It's just been a lot, so taking this day to just do all the things that I love, I don't know. It just felt so nice and just let me take a break from everything. Even though I still was filming for you guys and taking you along with me, I still love to film, but I think it's just the whole buildup of getting content out to you guys. Overall, I just love today and I ended up getting some books, which I need to show you guys because... I picked up some good ones, as always. In here, I only got two books, but I'm kind of broke right now, so it's okay. But the first one, I was honestly just planning on getting one book. That was my plan when I went in there, but we all know that doesn't end well with me. We all know that. But it was on sale, so that is the only reason why I got it. But it's called Killer Content. This is what it looks like by Olivia Black. Blackie Black, I'm pretty sure. It was only $6. The cover honestly just seems so cool. And it says it's murder most viral in this debut mystery by Olivia Black. So it says bio transplant Odessa Dean has a lot to learn about life in Brooklyn. So far, she scored a rent-free apartment in one of the nicest neighborhoods around by cat sitting and has a new job working at untapped bookstore and cafe. So just that alone had me hooked. I was like, I need to know what is gonna happen. Selling books and craft beers, easy for Odessa, but making new friends and learning how to ride the subway, well, that might take her a little extra time. But things turn more sour than an IPA when the death of a fellow waitress goes viral, caught on camera in the background of a flash mob proposal video. That sounds insane. <laughs> Nothing about Bethany's death feels right to Odessa, not her sudden departure mid-shift, nor the clues that only Odessa seems to notice. As an up-and-coming YouTube star, Bethany had more than one viewer waiting for her to fall from grace. So we got like a murder mystery, but in a completely different plot. So cool. And it mentioned social media as well, which I don't really know if I like that trope, but first time for everything, so. I was excited to pick this one up considering it was also so cheap. Then, this one is very anticipated for me. I got Twisted Games by Anna Huang and literally this is the second book out of the Twisted series. I fell in love with the first one. I actually just finished Twisted Love and I knew I just had to pick this book up like ASAP. So that is exactly what I did and I'm very excited to get into this one because I'm pretty sure that this follows Bridget and Rise which we 
kind of got a little glimpse of in the first book. So I'm really excited to see what goes down in the second one because of how crazy the first one was. So super excited for this one. And I don't know, book shopping just makes me so happy. It is my pride and joy. So I knew out of this video, I had to do a little book shopping segment because it is truly what I love to do. So <laughs> that's my little haul. Even though it's only two books, I'm still so happy. <laughs> But yeah, I think that is where my day is gonna end. I have a bunch of editing to do and I have so much new content that I'm working on for you guys and I'm so excited to show you everything. I just wanna release it all, but that is the end of my getting my sparkle back video. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys did, please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all that YouTube stuff you guys know how to do. And with that, I hope you guys are having an amazing, wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Bye. Mom's giving the tea. She's giving the tea. I know I did not forget my phone. Go! <laughs> I'm trying to cover these pimples so they're not in it. Oh my god, this almost dropped on me. I am not doing any more school. I decided. <laughs> <laughs> Focus, maybe?